Breaking news as we come on the air at 6, two people are dead after a utility helicopter crashed in a farm field in Wood County. Right now, the Wood County Sheriff's Office has not released the names of the two men who died in the crash, but the sheriff is telling us that the men are not from this area. And we have team coverage tonight. 13 ABC Sean Haggerty talking with the witnesses who heard the crash. But first, we begin with Alexis Means to tell us what happened. Diane, the helicopter went down in a farm field near Pemberville and Wrecker Roads near Northwood. Investigators will look at if weather played a role in this crash. He just saw the helicopter come down out of the sky. There are two people inside. Both of them are deceased. The Wood County Sheriff says the 911 call came in from an eyewitness. The emergency crews rushed to the scene. We believe was uh, uh, checking the power lines, which they uh, contract with First Energy to patrol the power lines. The sheriff says it does not appear the aircraft hit anything. So we do not believe that the helicopter struck the power lines. Uh, there's not does not appear to be any damage to the poles or any of the lines. The Wood County Sheriff's Office called and turned over the investigation to the National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration. Those two organizations will, will uh, uh, take the helicopter and dissect it and try to figure out if it was human error or mechanical error. The sheriff says the company and the two males who died are not from our area. The sheriff also says it will take months before they know what caused the helicopter to crash. Back to you. All right, Alexis, thanks. And some people living near the scene heard the crash, not realizing exactly what they heard until they saw the wreckage. Our Sean Haggerty continues the team coverage with some of those neighbors who have seen helicopters like this out there on a regular basis, Sean. That's right, Diane. The sound of a low-flying helicopter is something that some of those residents living out there off of Pemberville and Bradner Road say they hear quite often. Today, though, a sound they are not familiar with. All I heard was a, a big boom, and I thought it was a tire that blew from a truck off a turnpike. Unfortunately, that's not what Sandra Minerick heard after she got a phone call from another neighbor. And the neighbor called and told me a plane crashed in my woods, and I ran out to check the woods, and I didn't see anything. She eventually found the wreckage in another person's yard. Another neighbor says they heard what they now believe was that helicopter while in flight Monday morning. The helicopter flying back and forth, but it's not unusual out here. Reeves and others say they see helicopters like this a few times a month inspecting the power lines. You see a helicopter buzzing up and down. The, they follow the high tension lines as far as you can see in both directions. Maneric flies her own plane in the area. Now, while it's far too early to tell how this crash occurred, she's always cautious when she goes around one part of the lines. The one thing that scares us is that there's these stabilizing wires along the line and they're very, very difficult to see. And I know when we take off, we always go left or right and get enough height to up and get over them. So, and with the snowy conditions, you know, it'd be very, very hard to see those lines. Those neighbors say the helicopters do fly pretty low in that area when they're looking at the lines, but they're not sure exactly how low this pilot was flying today. Lee, back to you. All right, uh, Sean, thanks very much. With Chief Meteorologist Jay Birchback, we certainly know it was snowing throughout mm -hmm. the day and at the time, Jay, but what about visibility and the wind? Well, no major changes during the accident time. I'm told it's around 1141 here on the chart. So these are conditions from a Toledo Executive Airport, the closest airport uh, to the location of the accident. So snow again, we've been talking about this evening, the lower the number, the heavier the snow. So one mile visibility and below would be moderate to heavy snow. This is more like light to moderate snow throughout the time of the accident. 1.75 miles at 1135, one and a half mile visibility at 1138, 1140, back up to just over that by 1145 and 1150 above two miles. Also checking those wind conditions. No major shifts in the wind, no major gusts of wind around the accident time. Pretty consistent southeast wind there, about 8 to 11 miles per hour.